just noticed something. These communists are all cowards. Have you looked at our caps recently? Our caps? The badges on our caps. H have you looked at them? What? No. A bit. They've got skulls on them. <laughs> have you noticed that our caps have actually got little pictures of skulls on them? I don't, so... Hands. Are we the baddies? <laughs> Let's see. We should be able to hold them at this point. Hey guys, so I wanted to make this hopefully quick video, but again, when I, once I start talking, I don't know how long I'm going to go for. But um, I just wanted to point out, so I, I recently came across this video from the BBC where they've gone into the Ukrainian war zone and they found a couple of Ukrainian soldiers to interview. And was an interesting thing about what these Ukrainian soldiers were wearing on their uniform. So as you can see on this this guy's uniform, he's got that skull and bones over he, over here, um, which is based around the Nazi insignia. I can't make out what it says on the bottom, but I'm sure it's it's something very fun. And over here, he's got that um, I think it's it's an anvil or that hammer, the Norse hammer, and this is also a symbol that a lot of neo Nazis wear. Um, if you admit. Well, that's German, right? Mit something. Is that an SS? I don't know. Maybe it could be just like a blatant um, SS thing, but I'm not sure what it actually says. But definitely the symbol just is is something that, um, you know, neo-Nazis have. And now there's also a still image of the other guy. And I'll just uh, go to that. Mark tells us we have to move. There we go. So I don't know. Yeah, you can watch this video as well. I'll link it below. But... He's got that skull and bones, and this this is a blatant um, SS symbol. So I think even in the Mitchell and Webb uh, look here, video, at least for a few hours. Well, he doesn't say well. next to the yeah, skull. Same, you know, same, uh, yeah, we. <laughs> and watch this video as well. It's pretty funny. Uh, I love Mitchell and Webb, and I think you know before I made all the videos private, I did make one making uh, using the videos to make commentary on other issues. So. This is one thing I wanted to point out again, and I'm hoping now that, uh, that nobody has any more, you know, um, he hesitations or that the Ukrainian army is, isn't full of Nazis, because it is. It's full of Nazis, and they hold very strong positions there. Again, it's, it isn't the whole of the country. It is a very large minority, but that large minority is a majority in the commanding positions of the army, if not the whole army itself. Um, you know, apart from the people who are just like recently conscripted, but the people who are just fighting for the last uh, eight or so years in Ukraine, the people who are battle hardened, and then the people, the young kids who have been brainwashed by them, they are all neo-Nazi fascists. They have that mentality of being brainwashed into that cult. So it, that, it is what it is, but this, this is a fact. And I think we started off with, you know, <laughs> the Western media saying, oh, there's no ne ne Nazis in Germany, uh, in, <laughs> there's no Nazis in Ukraine, so there's some Nazis in Ukraine to now that, yeah, there's Nazis and it's full of it, but they're, good, they're the good Nazis, they're not as bad, you know, as um, the Russians are. And just like the bio lab thing actually uh, freaked me out, because I didn't think the bio lab thing was, I think that was just a, you know, fake conspiracy theory, but that... <laughs> The fact that that ended up being real is pretty wild. And I think the next thing now that's coming out is all the war crimes being committed. And so I think we're starting it the, the exact same way. You know, people are saying, no, there's no, Ukraine isn't committing any war crimes. And then they're saying, oh, well, well they are committing a, a, a few war crimes, but who can blame them? And then I think it's going to end up with, well, they're committing massive war crimes, but, you know, war crimes are okay. They're all justified now. Let's torture and you, know, <laughs> you know, um, completely, you know, dehumanize people, paint them like orcs in in green colors and whatever else. You know, shooting people in kneecaps and just murdering them. And it's kind of, there's another video where the Ukrainian doctor was saying that he's going to castrate the POWs, 
and stuff like that. And a lot of these like Russian POWs, they're just kids as well who have been drafted, and they basically they either had to go or I don't know. Be I don't know what the what the um, punishment is in Russia, but it's probably not very nice. <laughs> and even going to prison there for a few years would be pretty nasty, I think. And I think a lot of them maybe didn't even know they were going to war because they kind of just lined them up around Ukraine before they went in. So <clears throat> there was one more thing I wanted to talk about, and that's, well, a, a couple more things. I wanted to give you my perspective, I guess, and what I would be doing if I was in Ukraine. <laughs> but I also wanted to talk a little bit about this um, this attitude of Western Ukrainians that they have. and. Western Ukrainians are known for being um, a bit sadistic, a, a bit of the kind of people that take pleasure in watching people suffer a little bit extra. You know, they, they're just known for having this personality trait in them. Um, so when these, these videos come out, I'm not saying all these videos are real, but they're not Russian propaganda. But I think, first of all, I think the Russian propaganda has been pretty lame. Like, I've seen the Russian propaganda. There was a video with, like, the kid scooping out bullets and something. And that doesn't mean that the... I think the towns in the east were bombed and civilians were killed. But that's obviously, like, very staged. I don't know if you've seen that video or not. But so, so the Russian propaganda is really, really lame. I think Ukraine definitely has uh, Russia beat in the propaganda war. Um, but to, to me, when I combine these two things that I know that the Western Ukrainians are sadistic pieces of shit <laughs> to put it bluntly and that they're all being brainwashed into being neo-Nazis and again probably not this young kid it's the the older uh, people that are influencing them um, I totally believe all these stories I, I totally believe the videos are real of um, just Ukrainians you know humiliating and making the people they capture suffer if they don't outright kill them. I mean, there's also videos of them basically saying they don't take any prisoners. And I mean, I think they put out a tweet like that. And all. anyway, there's just so much stuff that you know, I, I believe that it's real. Now, um, arguing with people online, I've been called like a coward, a traitor to my own race and heritage. And that, you know, I'm not Ukrainian anymore now if I ever was. Or I'm a Russian born and stuff like that. I'll tell you exactly what I would... I feel like, and I feel the whole situation is a throwback to World War Two, where Ukraine was stuck kind of in between, you know, communism, which sucked, and Nazi Germany, which sucked. And sort of, um, I feel like it's the same situation right now, but there's no um, good solution at all. But both, uh, both sides kind of suck. And that it doesn't really matter which side <laughs> wins, as long as you end up surviving. Because I don't think life would get any better or worse, uh, regardless of whether the Russians take Ukraine over, or whether you uh, whether they, they they stay independent. Well, I think they should stay independent, but whether but they won't because they want to join the EU and you know join the one one world government, which is also a fact. But I guess that's something maybe people still want to argue about, but. Uh, it's, it's true. Now they're using different ways. They're not using the New World Order. They're using the International Order or the Peace, the International Peace Order and all these like other things that they're using um, now. So they don't call it the New World Order. It's, but they always use like, they always throw the order in. So that's how you pick, pick up on what these guys want to do. But um, yeah, honestly, I would just, if I was a mayor of the city, I would definitely just not care. <laughs> Like, I wouldn't um, go out of my way to hinder the Ukrainians, although, but I also wouldn't, like, stop the, try to fight the Russians, you know. So basically, whoever gets there first can hold the place down. I'll, I'll just try to keep everybody alive and, or get them out, basically, make them leave. Um, that's, that's my position, is uh, I just want people to survive. I don't want people to be forced to fight. Uh, the Russians or anything I think if people want to fight they should fight and I wouldn't like obscure but I, I wouldn't give a shit about who, who won um, in the end basically because <laughs> I, don't, I don't think it would make any I think both sides suck I don't think it would make a difference um, 
yeah that's that's basically uh, um that's where i'm at and if you think that makes me a coward or a traitor or whatever it is then yeah that's fine <laughs> I, I i i'm not planning to i was planning to move to ukraine and live there but now i'm not planning to go to ukraine anytime soon so um and it's really sad because i do feel that I, i'm not definitely don't feel like i'm russian i've said this before i feel like i'm a ukrainian who's spent a lot of time in australia basically so I still feel that way. So I do hope there is a place for me to go back to that uh, I will be accepted. Sorry again. I'm going to call, call my, my friend back soon. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's, that's, that's where I am. And if you want to judge me, however you want to judge me, whatever side you fit on. You know, there's, maybe there's really pro-Russian people who think that, you know, I'm also like too, too, sitting too much on the fence and I should be pro-Russia. But I'm just not. I'm not. Um, I'm very apathetic to the situation and I hope everyone including especially my family who's still over there just gets out of this thing alive but um, I don't think it will make a difference to me or to the, uh, definitely uh, or to them because they live they still live there um, it won't matter to them uh, which side takes over basically um, it'll be the same either way it's um, and it's not nice that it's getting bombed but you know the war's already happening so from the war shouldn't have happened to begin with, but now that it's already began, then now it doesn't make it. It really doesn't make a difference, honestly. Um, the only difference is, yeah, every, everyone's surviving. I guess maybe not as much damage being done to Ukraine. Basically, that's the only thing I care. I would care about. Um, <laughs> and if that means letting just Russia take the whole place, then fuck, so be it. <laughs> honestly, I think um, if they keep the place in in one piece. I think that would be the better option than whatever's going on there right now. Um, so yeah, that's how I feel, and that's what's going on. And all the best. I'm gonna go call my friend back. <laughs> See you guys.